Hi friends, hello, good morning to all, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss regarding Staff NAS 2023 exam purpose, very very important questions and answers in the subject of nursing foundation. This is part 2 already we discussed from part 1 from the first question to 40 questions. In this video today we will discuss from 40 questions to 100 questions. In this video we will cover 60 questions at a time. Before starting a topic, a small request friends. Anybody here watching first time my channel, please subscribe channel and click on the bell icon for further notification. Please like a video and share the video. Let's move on to topic part 2 from the nursing foundation subject 60 questions we will discuss here. 41 question. Good body mechanics maintains the body element and prevents. The good body mechanism will maintain the body elements and which one we will prevent. Options. Option A. Fatigue. Option B. Sleep. Option C. Appetite. And option D. Nausea. A good body mechanism is way to maintain ensure of various parts of our body. Especially the head, neck, back and pelvis and also aligned when moving or turning the body movements. This is helps to pulled muscles and muscle fatigue pinched nerves. Here option A is the correct answer. What is good body mechanism means to maintain balance posture and body element during the lifting any weight and moving the body and positioning and performing daily activities when we are doing daily activities when we are doing a some more lifting weight lifting works that time we have to maintain a body mechanism properly that is a body good body mechanism maintains body element and prevents fatigue option is the correct answer here here in this picture we can see the exercises is going on sleeping and playing and also eating and cooking those all things according to timings we have to do in good body mechanism means maintain a balanced posture here option a fatigue is the correct answer we will move on to next question question number 42 records could be arranged the records could be arranged in hospitals and any PHC centers. Options we will see first. Option A alphabetically, option B numerically, option C with index cards and option D all of the above. Here records could be arranged alphabetically, numerically and geographically and also with the index card here option d all of the above is the correct answer the purpose of arrangement is to promote assess and give proper information about the records and particularly particular patient and also the index card will give basic information directly with index card we can open directly which page we want that's why we have to maintain with alphabetical let and numerically and also geographically with index card and these all things the arrangement of the records so here option d all of the above is the correct answer next move on to question number 43 which bed is made for a client with fracture of trunk or extremities to provide fem with support a patient is having fracture of trunk and all or extremities which bed we will provide as a nurse option a open bed option b closed bed option c amputation bed and option d is fracture bed the fracture bed is designed for patient with fracture particularly of spine pelvis or femur and extremities here we have to provide option d fracture bed to the patient here option d is the correct answer the main purpose of fracture bed to provide a comfortable position to the patient to maintain a proper structure to the patient during the 
sleeping time we will give a support through the fracture bed and also to aid immobilizing fracture to aid immobilizing the fracture area here which bed is made for a client means for the fracture of trunk or extremities is a fracture bed here we can see in this picture the fracture bed is patient is sleeping the leg is fracture and hand is fracture here hanging is there here in green color we can see we give we will give support with this fracture bed to the patient here fracture bed is the correct answer next move on to question number 44 chyluria results due to what is chyluria you will see the options here option a malaria option b filariasis option c amoebiasis option d none of the above here chyluria is indicates a milky white color urine the urine will be in milky and white color urine spots in there in the urine chyluria indicates to milk white urine due to the filariasis chyluria is a uncommon manifestation of chronic lymphatic filariasis this can be caused sometimes vitamin deficiency and also malnutrition related to the decreased level of the nutrition in the body chyluria is a uncommon manifestation of the chronic lymphatic filariasis here option b is the correct answer chyluria results due to filariasis we can see filariasis chyluria results to filaria cases is 2% only not more than here chyluria results to due to option b filariasis is the correct answer here in this picture we can see the filariasis leg next move on to question number 45 among the following to the cardinal signs here from the options one is the cardinal sign we will see the options option a temperature option b look option c smell and option d all of the above what is cardinal sign we will see here clinically acute inflammation is characterized by five cardinal signs those are rubber color tumor dolor and loss of function here what is rubber rubber means redness of the skin next color means increase the heat tumor means swelling dolor means pain rubber is redness color is increased heat tumor is swelling dolor is pain and fifth cardinal sign is loss of function here from the following options cardinal sign is heat means temperature option a is the correct answer in medical term it is called as in cardinal sign color is increased heat here option a is the correct answer just now i already said five cardinal signs of a inflammation here we can see in first picture pain second picture heat third picture is redness fourth feature is smelling and fifth one is loss of function next move on to question number 46 autolysis is a option a process of hydrolysis of tissues option b sterilization option c cooling effect option d none of the above autolysis what is meaning of autolysis autolysis is a process of destruction of cells or tissues by their own enzymes autolysis is a destruction of cells or tissues by their own enzymes here this is a process means autolysis is a process is mainly seen during body decomposition and also certain infections and diseases experience of trauma conditions we can see the autolysis means breakdown of the cells or tissues here option a process of hydrolysis of tissues is the correct answer here autolysis means it is a process of hydrolysis of tissues next move on to question number 47 water can be disinfected by disinfected by we will see the options here option a cooling option b heating option c chlorination option d bleaching here water can be disinfected by chlorination option c is the correct answer here chlorination is the method used to kill bacteria viruses and other microbes in water 
chlorinization is a used to prevent spread of water borne diseases such as for example cholera dysentery and typhoid we can control through the chlorination of the water to disinfection through the disinfection we can control these many condition water borne diseases here option c chlorination is a disinfected by water so option c is the correct answer here next here in this picture we can see the first green colored water is raw water means non purified water here blue color water is tap water we can see in this picture with chlorination water purified here blue color in this green color water we can see clearly in microbes and viruses bacteria is there in this water next move on to question number 48 the pop bandages are made up of pop bandages are made up of means plaster of paris bandages are made up of we will see the options here option a crinoline option b hydrocarbon option c soda bicarbon option d none of the above the plaster of paris bandages and splints are made by a interpenetrating clone crinoline option a here correct answer crinoline is the correct answer we are preparing plaster of paris with the with crinoline when this materials is dipped into water the powder plaster of paris transformed into a solid crystalline form a gypsum it will be heat so here plaster of paris means plaster of paris bandages made up of crinoline option a is the correct answer here next we will move on to question number 49 when an injury occurs at cervical cord this leads to when injury is occurs to cervical cord this can be leads to we will see the options option a hemiplegia option b paraplegia option c quadriplegia and option d none of the above here option a hemiplegia option b paraplegia option c quadriplegia we will see here what is this these are hemiplegia is means one side of the body will be paralyzed the paralysis of one side of the body right or left hemiplegia means option b paraplegia paraplegia means the lower body parts of our body legs and toes these all paraplegia means lower part of the body will paralyzed what is quadriplegia here what is quadriplegia option c paralysis of both arms and legs is called as quadriplegia both upper arms and legs also paralyzed here in this quadriplegia here option c is the correct answer quadriplegia we will see here clearly quadriplegia can happen when there is complete or incomplete spinal cord injury anywhere between the c1 and c8 cervical cord c1 to cervical cord c8 if there is any injury in the cervical area it will result in tetraplegia or quadriplegia quadriplegia also called as tetraplegia here the injury occurs cervical cord leads to quadriplegia paralysis of both arms and legs here option c is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 50 the area of skin supplied by each nerve is called as the all over the our skin the nerve supply is called as options option a dermatomes option b tendon option c dermatone option d all of the above the option a is dermatomes option c is dermatone both are different dermatomes are areas of skin on your body that rely on specific nerve connection in the spine in this way dermatomes are much like a map how we will identify dermatomes means the nerve supply is correct going or not correct supplying nerve supply is function is correct or not how we will test we will test through the neurological examination we will identify any abnormalities is there in dermatomes option a is the 
now supply to the skin here option a dermatomes is the correct answer for example for the dermatomes the skin supply each nerve of our body sciatic nerve here option a is the correct answer dermatomes sciatic pain we will get due to the decreased blood supply to the lower body means sciatic pain we will receive the thigh part we will get a pain lower part of the thigh we will get a pain we will feel mean that time sciatic pain decreases blood supply to the nerve supply to the skin mean that time we will feel sciatic pain like numbness of the legs and tingling of the fingers and pain at the thigh area of thigh here option a is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 51 our body starts from a our body starts from a options option a bacteria option b monkey option c single cell option d tissues option c single cell is the correct answer every human being starts life from a single cell called as zygote zygote divides to from a embryo zygote is divides from a embryo 37.2 trillion 37.2 trillion cells we are having this is not a final number but it's very good start from the single cell our body here option c single cell is the correct answer next move on to question number 52 the 52nd question autoclave has been designed on the principle of which of the principle autoclave as designed we will see the options option a dry heat option b sunlight option c moist heat option d none of the above here moist heat is a principle of autoclave means autoclave has designed on the principle of moist heat and autoclave is a device that works on a principle of moist heat relation it is to expose each time to direct steam contact at the required temperature and pressure for a specified time here option c is the correct answer moist heat in additionally the parameters of the autoclave of steam sterilization steam pressure and temperature and time should be maintained the parameters of the autoclave autoclave parameters of steam sterilization is steam pressure and temperature and time these parameters we will follow in autoclave sterilization here option c moist heat is the correct answer next move on to question number 53 53 question is the endoscopes can be sterilized by endoscopes can be sterilized by options option a alcohol option b under cool running water option c glutaraldehyde option d none of the above endoscopes is sterilized by the glutaraldehyde option c is the correct answer glutaraldehyde is used as a cold sterilant to disinfect and clean heat sensitive equipment such as a dialysis equipment suction bottles surgical instruments bronchoscope and endoscope and also ear nose and throat instruments here endoscope can be sterilized by glutaraldehyde not only endoscopy these all are the instruments we can sterilize through the glutaraldehyde just now i already mentioned instruments like dialysis instruments suction bottles surgical instruments bronchoscope endoscope and ear nose throat instruments also we can sterilize through the glutaraldehyde here next move on to question number 54 the major source of cell energy to the major source of cell energy is we will see the options here option a mitochondria option b matrix option c ribosome and option d all of the above in living things glucose is the fundamental nutrient but atp is the basic fuel of the energy atp means adenosine triphosphate atp means adenosine triphosphate the main thing is atp is the basic fuel of 
cell energy here option b matrix is the matrix is the correct answer atp is the main source for most cellular process here we can see major source of cell energy is matrix option b is the correct answer next move on to question number 55 discovery of streptococci is streptococci discovered by we will see the options option a robert koch option b hansen option c louis patcher and option d fleming we will see in detail strepto in a chain and coccus a berry the real importance and formal entry of streptococci to history came in 1879 when louis patcher isolated the microorganism from the uterus and blood of women with puerperal fever in that time 1879 only the louis patcher isolated a microorganisms from the uterus of the women and blood of women puerperal with a puerperal fever here option c louis patcher is the discovery of streptococci is the correct answer but additionally i will tell a one more thing option b hansen is there na hansen streptococci group a mr hansen causes strep fever and rheumatic fever he is discovered streptococcus group a hansen is discovered a streptococci group a but here discovered of streptococci means louis patcher only correct answer here next we will move on to question number 56 syringes needles glass wear can be sterilized under options option a hot air oven option b ethylene oxide option c moist heat and option d sunlight syringes needles glass wear we can sterilize under hot air oven the hot air oven use extremely high temperature over several hours to destroy microorganisms and bacterial spores to sterilize glass wear example test tubes flask and pipettes metal instruments like blades and scissors here option a is the correct answer hot air oven is the correct answer the duration of hot air oven is 45 minutes depending upon the sterilized equipments and instruments the duration will be there the temperature is 140 degree celsius to 200 60 degree celsius is the duration the principle of sterilization of hot air oven is to kill a microorganisms here the syringes needles glass wear we can sterilize under the hot air oven option a is the correct answer next move on to question number 57 a disorder of the lips and mouth characterized by dilated scale and frizzes is known as a disorder of the lip and mouth characterized by the dilated scale and frizzer is known as we will see the options here option a calculus option b sorts option c cheliosis option d gingivitis the inflammation and the small cracks is one or both corners of the mouth causes the fungal infections candida albicans and less commonly Staphylococcus aureus and poor oral hygiene also one of the cause of inflammation of the mouth and lips here option c cheliosis is the correct answer the inflammation of the small cracks one or both side of the mouth is called as cheliosis it is one of the vitamin b12 deficiency also vitamin b12 also called as riboflavin deficiency here the disorder of lips and mouth characterized by dilated frizzes is known as cheliosis next move on to question number 58 rigor mortis means option a a stiffening of body after death option b a stiffening of the face option c a stiffening of the hands option d a stiffening of the abdomen rigor mortis what is rigor mortis rigor mortis is a post mortem changes resulting in the stiffening of body muscles due to the chemical changes in their myofibrils 
here option a yes stiffening of the body after the death is the correct answer rigor mortis means a stiffening of the body after the death here we are having three types of rigor mortis Rig first one is rigor mortis second one is liver mortis third one is algor mortis the period of runs from a 3 to 72 hours the of the after death the rigor mortis and liver mortis and algor mortis these three types the period runs from the 3 hours after death from the 72 hours of the death here rigor mortis is a, a stiffness of the body after the death is the correct answer option a next move on to question number 59 one ounce is a options option a 5 ml option b 15 ml option c 25 ml option d 35 ml the weight is equal to product of mass and gravity one ounce is equal to 29 ml based on the conversion factor from ounce in ml the fluid ounce is equal to 29 ml based on the ounce ml here nearby option is option c 25 ml additionally we will see here weight is equal to the product of mass and gravity in the grams is approximately 30 grams clearly 28.5 grams up to the amount of weight that approximately equal to a 28.5 grams in grams 28.5 grams in ml is 25 ml but clearly approximately is 29 ml based on the conversion next move on to question number 60 which medication order will be given every other day which medication is ordered will be given every other day from the following option these all are the medical code language options option a body option b bid option c q body option d qd here option c is the correct answer medication order will be given every other day means one every other day is qod qod means to take one every other day written on a prescription as a direction to the doctors but joint commission on accreditation of healthcare organization in 2003 banned the use of qod because of the medication error is going on so this was banned in the year of 2003 qod means every other day option c is the correct answer here next we will move on to question number 61 the purpose of bed making what is the purpose of bed making you will see the options here option a to provide client safe comfortable bed option b to give ward neat appearance option c to adapt needs of client option d to economic time material and effort and option e all of the above the purpose of bed making is to reduce the normal pathogens in client environment bed making is a nursing art bed must be free from all wrinkles because wrinkles causes discomfort leads to formation of a bed sore also here option e is the correct answer all of the above to provide client safe comfortable bed to give a ward neat appearance to adapt needs of client and to economic time and material also effort adopt needs of client here all of the above is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 62 bore committee started on we will see the options option a 1947 option b 1946 option c 1934 and option d 1912 the bore committee was set up of by a government of india in 1943 it was a health survey taken by a development committee to assess a health condition of the india committee worked under joseph william bore here option b is the correct answer it was started set up on 1943 only but the committee was started in 1946 by joseph william bore he acted as a chairman of committee bore committee in bore committee we are having 
five principles i will explain these principle here we are having five principles of board committee those are public health medical health education and professional education and also health service these all are the five principles of board committee started in the year of 1946 next we will move on to question number 63 rectal thermometer should be inserted in children up to how much inches or in centimeters we will insert a rectal thermometer into the children's we will see the options option a 3 to 4 inches option b 6 to 8 inches option c 1 by 2 into 1 by 4 inch option d 1 to 1 by 2 inch gently insert the bulb about 3 quarters of an inch to an inch into the children's rectum or until the tip of the thermometer disappears we have to hold the thermometer while monitoring the temperature the difference between the oral temperature and rectal temperature is only 1 degree fahrenheit rectal thermometer we have to insert into the children's up to 1 to half inch 1 by 2 inch option d is the correct answer the difference between the temperature oral and rectal is 1 degree fahrenheit next we will move on to question number 64 intraosseous injection is given in intraosseous injection is given in we will see the options option a bone marrow option b vein option c spinal cavity option d intramuscular intra osseous injection what is meaning of intra osseous injection it is a process of injecting medications fluids or blood products directly into the bone marrow the meaning of intra osseous injection it is a process of injecting medications fluids or blood products directly into the bone marrow so here the osseous injection given into the bone marrow option a is the correct answer Additionally, we will see regarding intraosseous injection. Intraosseous injection or infusion is the process of injecting directly into the bone marrow of bone to provide non-collapsible entry point into the systemic venous system. The sites of intraosseous injection is sternum, clavicular, humeral head, iliac crest, distal femur, and also in child we can give. the intraosseous injection the sites or proximal tibia and distal tibia and also calcaneus when we will give intraosseous injection intraosseous injection we will give a an immediate indication mean in a immediate situation and life threatening emergency situation only we will give a intraosseous injections here we can see in this picture intraosseous injection given to the bone marrow directly see okay next move on to question number 65 how long should a nurse wait after taking cold milk for recording oral temperature how much time we have to wait after taking of cold milk to monitor a temperature we will see the options here option a 20 to 30 minutes option b 40 to 50 minutes option c 15 to 20 minutes and option d 30 to 40 minutes not only intake of cold milk i will explain additionally here wait for a 20 to 30 minutes after smoking eating or drinking a hot or cold liquids not only these times also we have to wait at least 1 hour after heavy exercise or hot bath we have to measure 1 hour after these activities we have to wait a 20 to 30 minutes after intake of liquids or eating or smoking after 20 to 30 minutes we have to monitor not only this time we have to wait a at least 1 hour after heavy exercise and also bath also here option a we have to wait approximately 20 to 30 minutes after intake of cold milk or hot liquids here option a is the correct answer 20 to 30 minutes next move on to question number 66 in infants most preferred site for a intramuscular injection in infants 
most preferred site for a intramuscular injection we will see the options option a deltoid option b vastus lateral site option c ventrogluteal site option d dorsogluteal the injection site is about half way between the knee and the top of the femur vastus lateralis muscle is located on the lateral side of the thigh here option b vastus lateral site is the correct answer vastus lateral site is generally preferred site for a young infants moreover this site often used by patient who self administer im injections because it is easy to assess so here the most preferred site of intramuscular injection in infant is option b vastus lateral site next move on to question number 67 height of the enema can from anus when giving enema height of the enema can from anus while giving a enema we will see the options here option a 60 cm option b 90 cm option c 45 cm option d 30 cm the appropriate level about the anus 30 to 45 cm or 12 to 18 inches for the high enema 30 cm or 12 inches for a regular enema and also 7.5 cm or 3 inches for a low enema according to the installation of the volume of enema is depending upon the size of the enema high enema or regular enema and low enema are level of the anus 30 to 35 cm so here option c is the correct answer 45 cm is enema can from the anus when giving the enema height position is side lining position the position of the enema while giving to the patient we have to keep patient in side lining position here option c is the correct answer 45 cm next move on to question number 68 water hormone pulse is also known as water hormone pulse water hammer pulse is also known as we will see the options here option a bonding pulse option b collapsing pulse option c pulse after note option d none of the above the water hammer pulse is also known as collapsing pulse option b is the correct answer here water hammer pulse also known as collapsing pulse is the medical sign seen in the aortic regurgitation this is the one of the heart disease we can see the collapsing pulse or water hammer pulse in the aortic regurgitation or pda patent ductus arteriosus cases we can see in this condition pulse that bonding and forceful rapidly increasing subsequently collapsing that's why this is called as collapsing pulse here option b is the correct answer in this picture we are seeing the normal pulse in the first box in the second box is rapid pulse is called as collapsing pulse water hammer pulse also is called as collapsing pulse we can see in this picture the wave of the hot beat means the pulse is rapid pulse is there in this picture next move on to question number 69 accreditation refers to one of the following accreditation refers to one of the following you will see the options first option a making assessment option b meeting predominated standards option c ensuring quality and option d making care cost effective accreditation refers to the ensuring quality and assurance so here option c ensuring quality is the correct answer for example accreditation means process of checklist process of standards and documentation project audit and also inspection accreditation refers to a ensuring of quality option c is the correct answer next move on to question number 70 what is midriasis midriasis means options option a dilated pupil option b pupil is irregular shape option c double vision option d pupil is unequal here midriasis 
मिड्रियासिस मीन्स डायलेटेड प्यूपिल प्यूपिल इज स्मॉलर देन नॉर्मल वॉट इज डबल विजन डबल विजन मीन्स डिप्लोपिया इन मेडिकल टर्म द प्यूपिल इज अनइक्वल मीन्स इट इज ए एनिस्कोरिया द मेडिकल टर्म इज एनिस्कोरिया इज प्यूपिल इज अनइक्वल सो हियर द मिड्रियासिस मीन्स डायलेटेड प्यूपिल इज द करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन ए here in this picture we can see the pupil dilatation dilated pupil in this picture this is called as medriasis next move on to question number 71 which of the following not a sign of inflammation you will see the options here option a redness option b pallor option c swelling option d heat from the following is not a one of the sign of inflammation here redness swelling heat these all are the signs of the inflammation so option b pallor is except signs for the inflammation pallor means we will see here pallor means unhealthy look pale or fade causes or anemia shock low blood sugars and also chronic diseases like a cancer in this cases pallor cases patient will have low bp also so here which of the following is not sign of inflammation means the pallor is the correct answer here option b next we will move on to question number 72 recommended site for administration of dpt in infants recommended site for administration of the dpt vaccine into the in fans we will see the options here option a deltaid option b glutea option c four of option d lateral accept of the thigh babies need three shots of the dtp diphtheria tetanus and pertussis to build a high level of protection against the diphtheria tetanus and whooping cough dtp vaccine given at the age of 2 months 4 months 6 months and 15 to 18 months and also 4 to 6 years of the age here recommended site for administration of the dpt is option d is the correct answer lateral accept of the thigh we can see here in this picture dpt in infant site is showing is thigh it is a lateral accept of the thigh next move on to question number 73 restoration of ability of following this is illness or injury is termed as in the question only is the restoration restoration of ability following diseases illness or injury termed as rehabilitation the rehabilitation is a set of interventions designed to optimize functioning and reduce disability in individuals with a health condition the restoration ability following diseases illness and injury to provide a option c term is called as rehabilitation option c is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 74 a patient is admitted with a temperature of 105 degree fahrenheit 105 degree fahrenheit natural rigidity vomiting and lethargy is the signs and symptoms meningitis is suspected for which diagnostic test should be should the nurse begin preparation here we can see in this question rigidity vomiting lethargy rigidity means increased muscle tone and vomiting means we will know vomiting and nausea and vomiting lethargy means lack of energy meningitis means inflammation of the brain and spinal cord membranes here the doctor inserts a thin hollow needle into the lower part of the lumbar spine usually between the third and fourth or fourth and fifth lumbar vertebrae to remove a sample of cerebrospinal fluid to rule out a meningitis or encephalitis and bleeding from the any area of the brain here option c is the correct answer a patient is admitted with temperature 105 the natural rigidity vomiting lethargy and meningitis c suspected the diagnostic test the nurse should be begin preparation for the lumbar puncture option c is the correct answer here in this cerebrospinal fluid after collection of the 
sample of cerebrospinal fluid to rule out a meningitis and encephalitis meningitis means inflammation of the brain and spinal cord membranes encephalitis means inflammation of the brain and also bleeding in the brain we have to rule out this is the position of the lumbar puncture here the lumbar puncture procedure is going on in this picture next we will move on to question number 75 in following which is a contraindicated for taking a oral temperature when we are taking a oral temperature the contraindications are from the followings options option a psychiatric patient option b surgery of mouth option c child below a five years and option d all of the above here all of the above is the correct answer these all are the contra indication for the oral temperature monitoring psychiatric patient surgery of the mouth child below the five years these all are the options are correct patient was recently had a facial or oral surgery altered mental status and nausea and warm things one are the contra indication for the monitoring of oral temperature not only oral temperature contra indication additionally we will discuss contra indication for the axillary temperature here contra indications for the axillary monitoring temperature the skin diseases axillary operation and unconscious shock patients constricted peripheral blood vessels constricted peripheral blood vessel these are the conditions we have to contraindicate the axillary monitoring of the temperature so here the all of the above is the correct answer option d next move on to question number 76 a nurse would assess that patient is experiencing chinese strokes respiration when he has the chinese stroke respiration we will see the options option a an increase in both rate and depth of the respiration option b period of tachypnea alternating with period of apnea option c period of hypernia alternating with period of apnea and option d none of the above here in this question we have to clearly we have to know in this question a nurse would assess that patient experiencing chinese stroke respiration what is chinese stroke respiration we have to know first chinese stroke respiration is also called as periodic respiration in this cases rapid breathing followed by apnea will happen this is abnormal breathing pattern in these cases rapid breathing followed by apnea will happen in this peak we can see the irregular respiration the respiration is rapid followed by the apnea in the flat line and again the rapid respiration this is called as periodic respiration or chinese stroke respiration this is a abnormal pattern of breathing was described in the 19th century by dr john chine dr william stroke causes for chine stroke respiration the causes of chine stroke respiration is stroke or heart failure in the heart failure cases we can see that 25 percent to 50 percent of chine stroke respiration or periodic respiration option b is the correct answer period of tachypnea alternating with period of apnea next we will move on to question number 77 triage means what is the triage options option a large option b emergency option c short option d none of the above triage is a process of quickly examining a sick or injured people this is a one of the type of emergency option b is the correct answer triage means it is a disaster here one of the example for the triage is disaster for example one more thing after an accident so those who were in a most serious condition can be treated first through the triage here option b is the correct answer emergency next we will move on to question number 78 what should be the temperature of water used for a tepid sponge 
when we are giving tap it sponge what is the temperature of the water we will see the options here option a 98 degree fahrenheit option b 105 fahrenheit option c 80 to 90 degree fahrenheit option d 0 degree fahrenheit tepid sponge is a process of sponging with a tepid water to reduce a body temperature by a evaporation the water temperature used for a tepid sponge 80 to 90 degree fahrenheit is the correct answer here option c 80 to 90 degrees of temperature of water we are using for tepid sponge option c is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 79 which vein should be used first when initiating iv therapy what is the preference of first vein for the iv therapy we will see the options here option a basalic vein option b axillary vein option c jugular vein and option d brachiocephalic vein first preferred site for a iv cannulation is a median antecubital and cephalic and basalic veins these are the three types of the veins we are preferred for a first site of the iv cannulation and basalic vein is the first foremost vein for the iv cannula therapy iv therapy for the cannulation basalic vein or also called as superficial vein basalic vein also called as superficial vein here option a is the correct answer here in this picture we can see the veins basalic vein cephalic vein and median antecubitic veins next move on to question number 80 which guidelines a nurse has follow when caring for a pressure sore is options option a wound must remain moist option b tight packing of the wound option c dressing to dry before removal option d all of the above if the affected skin is not broken wash it with a gentle cleanser and pat dry clean open sores with a water or saline solution each time dressing is changed to be done ye bandage speeds healing by a keeping the wound is moist so here dressing to dry before the removal is the correct answer option c dressing to dry before removal the guidelines as a nurse we have to follow while caring of the patient pressure sore here option c is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 81 antidote for heparin is what is the antidote for heparin we will see the options option a amiodarone option, option b calcium option c protamine sulfate and option d none of the above the protamine sulfate is only specific antidote for reversal of heparin activities here protamine sulfate is antidote for heparin useful for treatment of hemorrhage as result of heparin overdose also here option c is the correct answer in detail all antidotes i will explain clearly in a one video in shortly i have already explained antidote of heparin is protamine sulfide here option c next we will move on to question number 82 the amount of fluid loss from skin per a day the amount of fluid loss from skin per day how much we will see the options here option a 800 ml option b 450 ml option c 700 ml option d 600 ml in humans the average water loss by diffusion through the skin is about 300 to 400 ml per day how do you calculate fluid loss by dividing the difference between the pre illness and illness weights by the pre illness weight for example every 1 kg of weight loss is equal to 1 liter of fluid loss here amount of fluid loss from skin per day is normally 300 to 400 ml is correct answer so here nearby 300 to 400 ml is option b 400 ml 450 ml is the correct answer 
per day 450 ml of fluid we are losing through the skin next move on to question number 83 topical agents used for cleaning wound is what are the topical agents we are using for a cleaning wound? We will see the options. Option A, Sablan. Option B, Iodine. Option C, Hydrogen Peroxide. Option D, all of the above. The topical agents for a cleaning of wound is locally where the medicine is applied on a area being treated. For example, we are using a topical agents like creams, ointment and lotions included providan, chlorexidine, alcohol and also hydrogen peroxide H2O2 and boric acid, silver nitrate, sodium hypochloride also we are using. These are the some of the topical agents. Example for the topical agent. So here savlan, iodine or providan. Option C, hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. These all are the topical agents. So, here option D, all of the above is the correct answer here. Next, move on to question number 84. The fall of temperature in zigzag manner to normal is known as. The fall of temperature from the zigzag manner is known as. You will see the options here. Option A, lysis. Option B, crisis. Option C, irregular. Option D, regular. Here, when body temperature return to normal slowly in zigzag manner in 2 to 3 days, it is a termed as lysis or decline. Here, option A is the correct answer. The fall of our temperature is zigzag manner is known as lysis. Option A. Here we can see in this picture the lysis means the zigzag manner of the temperature. Automatically it is increased in the zigzag manner and also decreased into the zigzag manner only. The normal temperature will come from the high grade means 104 is there first here 103 and 102, 101 then 99 degree foreign heats. This is fall of the Temperature in zigzag manner is known as lysis or decline. Here option A is the correct answer. Next we will move on to question number 85. Prolonged suctioning of the tracheostomy may cause. The prolonged suction of the tracheostomy may cause. We will see the options. Option A nausea and vomiting. Option B hypoxia and Cardiac arrest option C, carditis and option D, lung abscess. The prolonged suctioning can stimulate the vagal nerve predisposing the patient to bradycardia and hypoxia. So here bradycardia means the patient will cardiac arrest. So here option B, hypoxia and cardiac arrest is the correct answer. Actually suction time we are having 3 to 4 times for the day and or more if needed. For suctioning, you need a suction catheter and suction machine. These are the equipments for the suctioning. Tracheostomy, we are having a, additionally I will explain the suctioning methods. Tracheostomy, we are having a closed suctioning and open suction. If you are doing a open suction means we have to do a little means short time. If we are doing prolonged time means a patient will hypoxic and cardiac arrest will happen. It is closed suctioning means it, here in this picture we can see the tracheostomy tube. The blue color part is connected to the patient trachea and bulb position is we can connect the suction catheter inside of the trachea. We have to suction through the normal cell line. Small duration we have to do a suction we have a intervals between the intervals we have to do suctioning through the closer suctioning is the better for the tracheostomy patients so here hypoxia and cardiac arrest may cause of the prolonged suctioning option b next move on to question number 86 kit supplied at subcenter is kit supplied at subcenters Option A, kit E, option B, kit M, option C, kit K, option D, kit B. Indian Public Health Standards, IPHS guidelines for subcenters 
फैसिलिटेट्स फॉर ए ए एंड बी टाइप ऑफ सब सेंटर्स ए लिस्ट ऑफ इक्विपमेंट्स एंड ड्रग्स नीडेड टू प्रोवाइड टू एज्यूर्ड केयर टू ए पब्लिक स्पेशली एम एच सी मेटर्नल चाइल्ड हेल्थ केयर पर्पज द इक्विपमेंट्स एंड ड्रग्स शुड बी प्रोवाइडेड टू दी प्रोवाइडेड टू दी पब्लिक स्पेशली मेटर्नल चाइल्ड हेल्थ द सम ऑफ द ड्रग्स और पैरासीटमल वाइटामिन सी बी कॉम्प्लेक्स वाइटामिन ये प्रोफ्लैक्सिस एंड फोलिक एसिड एंड मेट्रीन इंडाजोल किट सप्लाइड एट सब सेंटर इज किट बी ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर हियर नेक्स्ट वी विल मूव ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी सेवन एर्ली साइन ऑफ पॉर्किसन डिसीज वॉट इज द साइन ऑफ एर्ली साइन ऑफ पॉर्किसन डिसीज वी विल सी हियर options option a tremor option b rigidity option c numbness option d tachycardia patient is having when parkinsons patient is having mainly four symptoms those are tremors in hands arms legs jaw and head muscle stiffness and slowness of the movement can see insomnia also these all are the signs and symptoms of the parkinson's disease here tremor is a option a is the correct answer tremor is the correct answer in case muscle stiffness sign slowness of movement is the two types of early symptoms of parkinson's disease muscle stiffness sign slowness of movement are the early symptoms of the parkinson's disease Currently, no cure for a Parkinson's disease, but we can relieve the symptoms with a medications by the support. Here we can see the in this picture the Parkinson's disease symptoms like a rigidity, stiffness of the muscles and slowness of the movement and insomnia and tremors in the hands, arms and legs and jaw. Next, we will move on to question number eighty-eight. Eighty-eight question is: the nurse should be kept in mind during the IV infusion. The nurse should be kept in mind during the IV infusion. We will see the options. Option A: select proper site for a infusion. Option B: septic technique to follow. Option C: maintain a specified rate of flow to prevent a circulatory overload here all of the above here all of the above is the correct answer option d when administering a intravenous infusion to a patient the nurse must continuously monitor the client's fluid and also electrolyte status to evaluate the infusion is needed to avoid a potential complication of fluid overload we have to know the electrolyte imbalance also patient the status here we have to know the electrolyte imbalance of the patient so here nurse should be kept in mind during the iv infusion is select a proper site for a infusion septic techniques to be follow and maintain a specified rate flow and prevent a circulatory overload here option d is the correct answer next move on to question number 89 smith's test is to test for what is the smith test is test for option a bile pigment option b bilirubin option c albumin option d ketone the urine analysis for a bile pigment is called as smith's test the urine analysis for a bile pigments is called as smith test here option a is the correct answer which is carried out by a iodine solution in this green colored would be indicated by presence of bile pigment in the urine the green colored urine the urine is green colored urine is indicated to the pig bile pigmentation in the urine here we can see in this picture urine is green colored finally change it to the green colored here positive is bile pigmentation is present in the urine this is the sample of urine is green color next move on to question number 9 purpose of blood transfusion or except 
from the following the except condition for the purposes of blood transfusion we will see here options option a treatment of anemia option b treatment of plasma protein option c to restore the blood volume option d to treat a hypovolemia the blood transfusion is a potentially life saving procedure can help replace blood loss due to the surgery and injury also blood transfusion also helps if an illness result in a anemia cases also blood transfusion can is used to the anemia cases here option d the treatment of hypovolemia is a except for purpose of blood transfusion the purpose of blood transfusion or option a b c these are the three or purposes of blood transfusion the except purpose of blood transfusion is option d next we will see the next question question number 91 surgical needles are what are the surgical needles we will see the options option a 1 by 4 circle option b 5 by 8 circle option c straight needle option d all of the above here all of the above is the correct answer 1 by 4 circle 5 by 8 circle and straight needle these all are the surgical needles surgical needles is a needle designed to carry a sutures when sewing tissues four types of surgical needles we are having 1 by 4 and 3 by 8 and 1 by 2 and 5 by 8 these all are the four types of the surgical needles different curvatures are required depending upon the access to the area of the suture depending upon the suture we have to use a surgical needles here option d is the correct answer all of the above next move on to question number 92 abbreviation of a c means what is the abbreviation of a c we will see here options option a at night option b at meal option c after meal option d before meal here a c means h s means at before the meal or at the bed time here option d is the correct answer abbreviation of a c is h s means h s before the meal and at the bed time here option d is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 93 functions of potassium in human body is what are the functions of potassium in the human body option a protein synthesis option b fat formation option c regulates neuromuscular excitability and muscle contraction option d all of the above the main role in the human body to help maintain a normal levels of fluid inside of our cells and also helps the muscles to contract and support the normal blood pressure means it will be support for the muscle to contract and it will be support for a maintaining a normal blood pressure in human body so here option c is the correct answer regulates neuromuscular excitability and muscle contraction next we will move on to question number 94 in a hospital waste sharp instrument should be discarded in we will see here options option a black color bag option b red color bag option c blue or white puncture proof container option d green color bag here the blue bin includes glass shops such as a broken ampules and white or gray bin includes metal shops here option c is the correct answer hospital waste sharp instrument we are discussed in in blue and white puncture proof container we are discarding so here option c is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 95 in benedict test benedict's test which is end color indicates absence of sugar in urine so here option a green option b yellow option c red option d orange here benedict test which is end color indicates absence of sugar in urine is 
ब्लू कलर एक्चुअली हियर ऑप्शन सी आई मेन्शनड रेड कलर बै मिस्टेक्ली ऐड इट्स फोरी फॉर दि इनकनवीनियस फ्रेंड्स हियर ऑप्शन सी इज ब्लू कलर हियर ऑप्शन सी इज द ब्लू कलर नॉट रेड कलर बेनेडिक सोल्यूशन इज ब्लू बट इफ सैंपल इज हैविंग कॉर्बोहैड्रेट्स और प्रसेंट इट विल बी चेंज कलर ग्रीन येलो मीन इट इज ए लो शुगर्स इन द यूरी here in this picture we can see the first pipette is blue color this is a absence of sugar in the urine last color is brown color last from the second is red color is indicates to high level in the sugar sugar sir high in the urine so the absence of sugar in urine is option c blue color is the correct answer not red it is the blue i did a I did a typing mistake here. Option C is the blue color absence of sugar in urine. Next, move on to question number ninety-six. Which of the following is included in the Voorhees theory? Option A: maintenance of sufficient intake of air. Option B: love and belonging. Option C: self perception. Option D: physiological needs. In Voorhees theory, maintenance of sufficient intake of air is there. These are the included in the Orium theory. Option A is the correct answer. Orium theory is suggested patient to be better able to recover when they are maintains some independence over their own self care and modify self image maintenance of health status through the maintenance of sufficient intake of air. Option A is the correct answer here. Next move on to question number ninety seven. The ninety seventh question is Macintosh should never be folded because options option A, tearing occurs. Option B, difficult to store. Option C, chance of a wet surface. Option D, become a rough. Macintosh is a lightweight waterproof fabric originally of a rubberized cotton. Macintosh should never be folded because if we rubber Macintosh folded, it will be become a rough and it mainly leads to causes of the sores of the patient. So here, chance of a wet surface option C is the correct answer. Macintosh should never be folded because chance of wet surface. Next, move on to question number ninety eight. Zero point four five percentage of NS normal saline solution is an example of what is the zero point four five percent normal saline solution? We will see here options. Option A isotonic solution. Option B very hypotonic solution. Option C hypotonic solution. Option D hypertonic solution. Sodium chloride. Zero point four five percent solution for infusion is hypotonic solution and also D five W two point five percent of dextrose also hypotonic solutions. Here option C is the correct answer. Zero point four five percent solution is a example for the hypotonic solution. Option C is the correct answer. Next we will move on to question number ninety nine. The ninety ninth question is a condition characterized by moving of bones out of joint. The condition is characterized by a moving of bones from the joint is called as options. Option is sprain. Option B fracture. Option C dislocation. Option D strain. Here. The condition characterized by moving bone is out of joint is dislocation. Option C is the correct answer. A separation of two bones where they meet a joint is known as dislocation. Most common location for dislocation are shoulders, fingers, can also elbows and knees and hips. So here in this picture we can see the dislocation of the joint in the knee is called as. Dislocation. The condition characterized by moving bones out of the joint is called as condi dislocation. Next, we will move on to question number hundred. This is the last question. The last question of the fundamentals of nursing in this video. 
which of the following is the abbreviation of drops here option a gtt option b gtts option c dp and option d dr gtts is a latin term that have a traditionally been used in the prescriptions gtt means in latin term drops here option b gtt is correct answer the following option abbreviation of the drops is gtts option b here correct answer this is the last question in this video next we will discuss another topic from the another subject we already finished part 1 and part 2 part 1 video 1 to 40 questions we already discussed in part 2 60 to 100 questions 60 questions 60 to 100 we already discussed in this video next we will discuss another subject medical surgical nursing point of view we will discuss a continuous questions very very important and frequently asked questions in previous years of exams thank you friends thank you for watching video first time who are watching my channel please subscribe my channel click on the bell icon for further notification stay tuned friends keep watching my videos thank you